That's, I thought maybe it was a, a mistake or something. All right, just get the latest one. That's always the best one. Okay. All right. So we're going to be running test uh, the lab four. Let me go, uh, go and run the quiz number four. All right. Let me go share screen. This one here, share. Okay, going to be running. Okay. Let me see slideshow. Running. Okay, can you everybody see the test? Yeah. Okay. Does capitalization count in the answers? Um, yeah, you can do capital. Uh, you can do capital letter or lowercase letter. I'm the one and that will check. I would check that. Because the choices are lowercase, and the quiz says A, B, C, D in caps. So. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can do it either way. Uh, I will. I will definitely take a look at that. And,
thầy nhiều đỡ một ba phải tám ngoại một ba phải mà xong em Sam, is there any way to raise that up just a little bit, the bottom of 15? Um, not at the moment. I have to finish, let it run all the way through.
R1 is an ohm, one, 180 ohms? Yes, 180 ohms for R1. It looks like question 16 and question 24 are the same question. You see question number 24? <laughs> oh, yeah, it, it will, it's a different circuit once you get to the next one. Oh, okay, <laughs> sorry. Yes.
Okay, so that's pretty much it. Let me go ahead and go back to number 15. Mr. Smith said he need to look at. So number 15 was uh, here. Okay, so it's, uh, let me go 15. There, let me see. Yeah, I got it, Sam, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Can, can we go back also to the seven, eight, nine? I think I overwrote my number nine answer with my number 10 response. Okay, so that's number nine. Thank you. You're welcome. And this is 10. Okay, let me look at the chat real quick before I exit. Okay, so uh, there's quite a bit here on the chat, okay. Okay, so Can update okay. this by when? I mean, upload it by when? Before I go to bed. <laughs> so you have to stay up until six a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, could you go to the first slide? The first questions, please. Okay. I, actually, Sam. Oops. Oh. So that's the first question there. Okay, thank you, got it. You're welcome. Okay, well, you have a question, Michael? Yeah, uh, that question 12, I didn't see the bomb two choices. Can you show that again? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome. Oops. 17 again, okay, 117, uh, 17, request for number 17, okay. Yeah, uh, like I said, um, hopefully I will have some more free time tomorrow where I'm doing Mr. Tai uh, lecture. And I uh, will definitely, uh, if you need me to go over assignment number six, let me know and we'll definitely uh, be able to go over assignment six uh, together on, the, on here, on the Zoom. Okay, so that way everybody get to learn the information too, okay? So is there any more question about this quiz or everybody's good? Uh, can I see uh, questions uh, 18 through uh, 18 and 19? Okay, 18, 19. Uh, thank you. I took a picture of that. Okay. And uh, 21, please. Okay, 21. And 24, please. Okay. Uh, thank you, Mr. Yi. You're welcome. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Okay, so back to you, Mr. Fam. Thank you, sir. Thank let, you. Let me turn into my iPad. Okay. Okay, make sure you download the channel. Okay, so basically no class on a Monday coming. Okay, and also like we already said, for tech one, you need a 450 hour, and tech two, 450 hour. The total will be a 900 hour. However, they did not apply for the time we already online. So, I believe from December 2020, up until today. What we need, you have to complete the AC module, complete the electronics, and complete the digital. Then you will be get the, one of the lab related 
and to death. Okay? That means when you're coming back on the fall, most of the time you have to do the lap. When the lap completed, then you get a certificate. I don't know how many hours you get. We don't care. They cannot apply for the online. That will be go back to normal. That means start from the fall 2021. That required 450 hours for one and 450 hours for tech two. Okay? So that doesn't matter how many hours you get. I don't know how many hours you get. But if you complete that, we take in the history. You already done everything we asked for, then you're okay. If you're not done, you have to repeat it again. Okay? Any question? So what uh, happened on the test? Is it a quiz? Is it okay for everyone? Is it an easy one, right? Yep. Okay, so if you understand on the RC capacitor resistance circuitry, you know, theory or parallel, then you don't have a much problem when we go to the next one. This one will be a in L, uh, RL, okay? You will be get RL theory and RL parallel. And then after that, you will be get the RCL theory, RCL parallel, okay? Now today we start with the inductor. And that I given you the picture of the inductor, basically just a wire, okay? They make the inductor. And they given you different uh, type of the simple, okay? Iron core, uh, that's like the not a ferrite core or air core inductor. So when you're looking into the simple, you're able to recognize what type of the inductor. Now, for the inductor, you can get connected in a theory and a parallel. So for the theory circuitry, and you can see the calculation total inductor will be exactly like resistor in theory, add them up. And if they in the parallel, same thing like in uh, resistor, you have to use in the formula one over, one L1 blood, one L2 and so on. Okay, so now they get the example. We can go quickly, okay? This one, the L total. So if you're looking on this circuitry here, okay, you can see L2, L3 parallel. You can combine to get one. Then they will be series with L1, L2, 3, L4. The answer will be 15 Henry. If you get any confusing, anything, go ahead and add, okay? And also example number two, you get one 
two, three in parallel. Okay. You can combine to get the one in the ten parallel. Combine it. Okay. And that will be theory with the seven hundred and the one hundred. Okay. And what they want, they want to know the value here. They given you the total induction is two point twenty five. If you already know three, okay, one and a two and a three here already, then you can calculate the Li. And the answer will be three Henry. Okay, so basically you have to spend time to working on it. Get make sure you get the right answer. Okay, any question? Okay, if it's not, go keep next one. Okay, now for the AC. Okay, you can see uh, this is an in inductor here. Okay. And basically, VL will be equal to zero. Okay. And that will be also, like they just a wire, okay? How many turns they can make it to get the inductor, okay? So basically for a DC, so basically you measure the curve, VL will be equal to zero. However, now we're talking about AC. So the formula will be for the AC circuitry, then the voltage VL will be leading the current IL 90 degree. You understand in the RC, in the capacitor, then the IC will be leading VC, okay? In inductor and the VL will be leading IL. So now you can see, if I draw v IL going this way, so VL leading 90, so they have to go this way, okay? That's a phase, phase yours for the wave form, okay? 90 degree lacking of the current. So basically you can say VL leading IL 90 or IL lacking VL 90 degree. They will be the same. This is a formula and you have to memorize when you're working with the induct, inductor circuitry. Okay, VL leading IL 90 degree. And you can see that using the pi over joule, that means 90 degree by 180, okay, two pi, 360 degree. Now, on that one, if you draw the phase of, you know, VL this way, and IL lacking 90, so IL have to be going down, okay? And that's just a telling you the fair difference between the VL and IL. Inductive reactant, IL. You already know the in capacity reactant. I see, I see equal to pi, one over two pi, FC, okay? For inductive reactant, when alternating current flow in an inductor. L, the amount of the current is much less than DC resistance of the coil winding along 
good for a while. The reason is that the induction produce an induced voltage that opposite a chain in the current. The additional opposition to the flow of alternating current to an inductor is called inductive reactant. And that's net by HL. And now you can see, they gave you the formula to calculate the cup inductive reactant. HL equal to pi times F times L. In this formula, pi 3.1 for two. F have to be in her, L have to be Henry, and like L will be in O. Okay? Again, make sure if you get any questions, just stop me. <clears throat> now, they given you example three. They given you this circuit three, what they given to you. They gave unto you the total voltage 15 volt AC, frequency 2 kilohertz. L1 equal 150 milli Henry. And they want to calculate the HL. So you know the formula, right? HL equal 2 pi F L. Okay, so if you're doing a correction, you can get HL equal 1.884 kilo ohm. Now, after you get HL, how do I calculate the current? On this example, G1 over XL. Exactly. I will be equal V total divided to XL. Perfect. Okay. The answer will be 7.96 milliamp. Okay. Example number four. They gave unto you V total 25 volts. AC and the frequency 3.183 kilohertz. They given you the current equal 250 milliampere and they will be asking for HL and the L. Okay, so how can we get HL? What I can record. You can tell me what I can record. XL is two pi times the frequency times the inductance. Now, you understand what they gave to you. They gave to you everything here. V total is 25. Frequency 3.83. And they already gave an I equal 250 milliamp. And now they want HL. Okay, you over I. Perfect. Vt divide to the current I. And then they want to calculate L. And you understand the HL to pi F L. And that's why you can get to L equal HL divide two pi F, right?
okay? So if you're doing a right thing, the answer will be a five milli hundred. Okay. Now, one more example. They given you the V total, 50 von AC. They given to you HL, 1.885 kilo ohm, and L equal 15 milli Henry. So in this circuitry, they want to know what the F frequency equal and what is the current I equal? And you understand the formula. I L two pi F L, right? So that's why you're able to calculate the frequency. F equal IL divide two pi L. Okay, if you're doing a right one, you get 20 kilohertz. And then they want to know the current, okay? You get the total voltage. You get the IL. So I uh, equal V total. Okay. The answer will be 26.52 milliamp. Okay, and the question. You say you get through the RC circuitry for capacitor, then now make it really easy to work with the inductor. Only the minor difference between some formula. Like, you know, what XC equal, and now they're giving you what XL equal. Okay, then we go to the next HL and R in theory. Okay, so now before we already in learning, okay, HC, okay, and R. Now we go for HL and R. So, summary. The current IT is the same in all the components. You already know that. Okay. IR1 or IL1 or the total current, that's only one current. Okay. And they say second one, we want the VR in phase with the current. I total. You understand for resistor here, I want voltage and the current will be in phase, okay, on the time. Only the thing a capacitor inductor to get a different. For inductor here, we know the VL leading IL. 90 degree, okay? Now they said VL lead IL or IT or IR by 90 degree, 
okay? Since we are an IT, will be in fair when VL lead we are 90 degree, okay? So VL will be lead we are 90 degree. You understand why they say VL lead we are 90? The region is VL lead IL, 90. That's the formula. And I, L, or I, T, or I, R will be the same, okay? And V, I, and I, R will be in fact. So that's why V, L will be lead V, R, 90, okay? And V, L equal I, T times I, L. V, R equal I, T times R, okay? then VL lead R by 90 degree. So for this circuitry here, they want to calculate the total impedance. Again, you understand that you get a 50 ohm and a 50 ohm, you cannot find total by adding up. Why we cannot add them up like the resistance? The thing is, they not in phase. So in order to calculate, you're going back the same thing like a capacitor. Rg total will be square root of R square blood IL square. So now you need to do calculate telling me what you get. Seventy point seven. Just a minute, okay. Okay, you get seventy point seven ohm, right? Yes. Correct. Perfect. Quickly. Okay, the answer will be seventy point seven ohm. Okay, current, I total. One hundred divided by seventy point seven. I want one, the answer. In one point four one four. Perfect. One point four one. M. I want VR. Mr. Fam. Yes, sir. The formula there, IT the VT divided by XL, I think you mean oh. uh, ZT, right? The total yes. impedance. Yeah. For number two? Yeah, the total current is the total voltage applied voltage by the total impedance. Perfect. Which, yeah, it should be ZT, not XL. Yeah. Okay. The thing is before XL only, the thing is the circuitry don't have a resistor. This one, they get a resistor in series. So it have to be total impedance. Okay, so number three. If you're doing a right, I think 70, point seven volt, right? Yes. Okay, VL, they get the same value. So they will be get the same voltage. Now, Fair angle. 
45 degrees by inspection. Yeah, perfect. If you're doing it wrong, writing, you get 45 degrees. I'm going to make sure you have to get through it. You get a question or confusion, bring it up. Not really hard to uh, get through it, but anything, okay? Then just bring it up. Question, Mr. Fan? Yeah, go ahead. The schematic you have on the screen, can it be designed in P spice to see the voltage and the current time so that the angle can be measured at 45 degrees? If, yeah, if you want to run a P spice. So basically, you cannot run exactly this circuitry. You know why? If I gave on this circuitry, I want you to draw, run the space pie, you cannot do it. Why? The space pie, they have to know the value of L1. They not deal with the inductive reactant XL equal 50 ohm. You cannot draw the circuitry with XL equal 50 ohm. You must be know what the value of L1 in the Henry, Michael, Henry, Millie, Henry, or so on. So your guy will be get that assignment. But you, you could pick a frequency and uh, a value for R1 that gives 50 ohms and a value of uh, and a value for L1 uh, that gives an XL of 50 ohms. That You'd have to do that extra step, right? Right, you have to get the value of L1, not the inductive reactor. If you want to run the pitch by simulation. On any pitch simulation program, they not deal with the inductive reactor. They deal with the value of the of the coil. Okay, so make sure you get that answer. Try to redo it over. Make sure you make it clear. Okay, and there's the second problem here. Okay, you do it later. Okay, they only did give, uh, given you the answer. Uh, this one, we already given you answer. And uh, next one, you get 40 ohm, 30 ohm, and do a calculation the same thing. And I only did given you the answer. Okay, try it. I quickly go to that thing and we will stop it for today. Now, I tell and I in parallel. So do you understand the, uh, you get L1, R1 in parallel. And the current I total here, one go to IL and one go to IR, okay? In the part, you can see the total voltage, total current in parallel will be equal IL plus IR. However, they not apply to the AC circuitry. The thing is they not the same phase. That is very important. You must be memorized. Now summarize. Voltage VT is the same on all the component. That means VL V total and V R only one voltage. Current I R to R, then they will be in phase, okay? With the V total, I think so, okay? Yeah. 
the current I R through R in fact with V total. Okay, that's a V total. Okay, V total equal V R equal V L. Since V L lead I L ninety degree, therefore I R will be lead L ninety degree. I T last V T ninety degree. Okay, and for this circuitry, they want to calculate the I L. Calculate I R. That's easy to do. However, if you calculate the total I T, then you have to use in the formula square root I L square plus I R square. And if you want to calculate the total impedance, you already get the total voltage and the total current. Okay, you take the total voltage divide total current. Okay, and the fair angle between V total and I total will be equal theta 10 minus one of the minus I L divide to I R. Okay, let's see, is it they do in a calculation here? Okay, and now in this calculation, okay, if you're doing it right way, you can get IL to M. Easy, right? 100 divide 50. That's why you mean M, I am at. And also 100 divide 50 ohm, R. You get to M. If you want to calculate the calculator, I total, will be square root of IL plus IR square. Okay, and after you get the I total, you can calculate the G total. Take the V total, divide to I total. And finally, you want to calculate the fair angle. That will be minus 45 degree. Okay. So any question up to this point? Now you see, uh, everything running very simple now. Okay. Uh, Mr. Pham, I was wondering, uh, uh, as soon as we're done with class, uh, can you please uh, upload the uh, lesson onto uh, your YouTube account, please? You mean upload everything here, right? Y yeah. Yeah, I will upload Thank tonight. Thank you, Mr. Pham. Yeah, the thing is what we want to do is Try to help your guy. Try to okay, help. Okay, um, thank you. Yeah, try to help the children, not in Zoom, but if they still want to learn, they can be learning from on the web. Okay? I want you to get it done for me for any assignment, any quiz, or the final exam. That's all the thing I want to make sure you understand. Okay. Okay, so uh, this is the answer for that one. And the question, if it's not, then we can stop now and I uh, hope everyone will be at a, a very good- um, Bye, Mr. Pham. Yeah. Very um, bye, good. Mr. Pham. Yeah, I wish all of you get a good holiday, okay? okay. Yeah. Yeah. Will be good night. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. So say, Sam, you still there? Yes, I'm I'm still here. Go ahead, John. Yeah, the questions I had with the lab is like when we go in there, are we all working on the same lab or we just go in there and work on what we're like where we're at or something? How yeah, a uh, different student would be at different pace. So like I said, uh, 
this this program is continued education. Some students are just returning and they're already done part, some of the lab already. So therefore they continue on where they left off. And where the brand new student, they will be starting at the beginning. So we're going to start them with the first board. And then once they get going, and then they, then they can decide what board that which circuit board they, they want to work on. Okay. Okay. So, so there'll be an instructor there to help us out. Definitely, yes. Now by the lab, I believe from the summer 2020, nobody done anything. The thing of that you're working on the real circuitry on the real system. Like exactly you're working in the company. You run the test, you're telling you how to hook it up, equipment, yeah. connect the circuitry, mm -hmm. and follow and do it. If you're doing it, you know how to do what to do, then you can get through. If you get a problem, you don't know what needs to be done, then just raise your hand. Instructor or, or Sam or myself can be helping you. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank but, you. Hey, now, oh. never do anything if you don't know what you do. Yeah, yeah, you shouldn't just show up not knowing what you're doing there, right? <laughs> it's pretty dangerous. I, I understand <laughs> that. That is. I think we don't want that, you know, uh, damage the system or the circuitry board or the equipment. So if you don't yeah. know, go ahead. You know, we get help. Thank yeah. you. Okay, great. Yeah, Thank you, guys. You okay. get a certain time, so you get three normally three hours. Right. Try to done as much as you can. I think if we can get too many different circuitry. For example, you get a DC basic DC. That's a very uh, small one. That's a circuitry. That's a very simple. However, then you have to do electronic, okay? Uh -huh. You can get a transistor amplifier, you know, not only one circuitry, okay? You can get a transistor amplifier, okay? You can get a feedback transistor, you can get more and more, okay? okay. So that means you keep down it, keep, they keep, we keep track right your uh, lab, lab no. yeah, projects or whatever yeah. you can. We know who done, who not done. Yeah, but exactly. But that means <laughs> that you complete everything we ask for. Then we give given out complete certificate for you. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Have a good weekend. Yeah. Do and I'll see you guys tomorrow, I guess.